not a Game Boy game. Well, in the sense that it's an original Game Boy game. This is a Game Boy Color game! Ha <laughs> ha! Hello everyone and welcome to my random gameplay video. Oh, I'm gonna skip this intro. No, it's actually called Pocket Bomberman. Not, I'm gonna skip this intro. <laughs> This is a Bomberman game that sort of breaks tradition of the usual Bomberman formula of which I'm going to be showing you right now. You can't select the world by the way, so I'm just gonna go right to the forest, right to the first level, and get playing. Oh, 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 yep, it's a side-scroller. Oh, yeah. And you can actually jump in it as well as you would probably expect from a side-scroller. So this definitely breaks the Bomberman tradition, and you can even drop bombs in midair, and those bombs also explode in the same cross formations as they would in other Bomberman games. So it's got a lot of elements of Bomberman, but it has its own unique touches to it via the side-scrolling nature to it. By the way, there's a clear reference to the um, other Bomberman games with the music in this game, in case you didn't realize that as well. If you're a Bomberman fan, you probably recognize that instantly. And, ooh, I really want that heart. That gives me an extra hit. So if you take a hit normally, you just die instantly. Oh, don't get that. That's a sandal. It slows you down. That uh, um, roller skate there speeds you up. Okay. And we are out of here. Once you destroy all the enemies, that door will open, and then you can just e exit the stage with ease. Well, unless there's some obstacles in the way. Anyway, area two. Let's start. And, uh... Since it has the, the grid-based formula of other uh, Bomberman games, it has an element of strategy to it as well, in that you can use bombs to block the paths of enemies and whatnot, as well as use them to boost yourself up to higher levels, like, say, like that. Haha! <laughs> it's, uh, it's all stuff that you have to get the hang of, but it, it, put, it, sets, it, ugh, it sets itself apart from other Mario games. Mario! Oh my god! I can't, I forgot how to speak. It sets itself apart from other Bomberman games. There we go! I knew I could talk about this game. <laughs> um, there's also some special objects in levels, like stuff like that, which you can flip over and flip back if you would like to. Not via Bomb Blast for whatever reason, but when you hit them like that or something. Uh, let's see what's down here. Uh-oh. I'm trapped. Or am I? Ha ha ha! Yeah, that bomb jump thing is really handy, and you can use that to get higher areas. It's all a part of the game's strategy. You can, use, you can even use that bomb jump in a pinch when you need to get out of a pit of enemies. Which reminds me, um, this game has a random number generator factor in that um, certain things might not always be exactly where they were when you initially seen them, like enemies. And that vest that I got there incre uh, makes me go invisible, I'm uh, not invisible, um, excuse me, it makes me invincible, that's the word. And that F increases my firepower to the maximum. All that stuff increases your stuff, like, all, like see there's four bombs there uh, on the bottom menu bar thingy, that means I can lay up to four bombs. And the, the four next to the fire head there it say, it says the range, and yeah, it's all pretty self-descriptive if you play through the game. It's all. Uh, it's nice to know that stuff offhand rather than having to memorize it because it it kind of makes you uh, remember where us uh, like where your range is so you know how to be out of it. Oh shoot! There's spikes there. Bad spikes. Cannot blast the spikes. That is a very very bad choice. I mean, blast open the spikes. It's not so much a choice as it was, as it was a guess. So and that's. I think there's a remote power up where that tree enemy is, and that kind of sucks. Because I would really like the power from that, if at all possible, because the remote power is really, really good. And that dang carpet or whatever the heck it is blocks my bomb blasts, saves enemies, Urgh. I suppose it could also save me as well, but in this case, it's not what I'm looking for in terms of help. <laughs> I'm gonna blast all this stuff open. Because yeah, if you hit these things, it uh, brings up the gates and yeah, and then you can get inside whatever is in there or get out easier. What's down here? I really don't like the blind jumps in this game though, I gotta gotta admit that, because there could be spikes or something down below, and that's kind of a, a downfall in this game because of the lack of visibility, I guess you could say, due to the screen size. Uh, generally though, for the most part, they do a pretty good job of avoiding any unfair stuff like that. No, no I want to... I want to blow you up. There we go. Voila. 
now I gotta get myself back over to the other side because there is still that critter with, I think, the remote bomb. And oh shoot, can't do that. Gotta go back higher. Gotta, yeah, I, oops, I dropped down the same path. Whoopsie, that was my bad. So I go, here we go. That's what I was looking for. Now I can go down here. Ha ha ha. Now what I want to do here is preferably that. There we go, that was perfect. Because as I said, I think there's a remote power up. And the remote is incredibly powerful. So you, as you can see, I dropped a bomb there. I could drop another bomb there. But... Oops, it's not this one. It's, there we go, select button is the uh, another button I have assigned. It's the Y button on my GameCube controller. I forgot how I had my controls configured. You can set bombs off whenever you want to with the um, uh, select button. Anyway, stage clear, and now I'm going to completely and utterly destroy the next stage because I have the remote power-up. In fact, the remote power-up, because, you know, you can just drop bombs like that and then jump on it with, without any issue like that, you know, you don't have to worry about it exploding. You can pretty much do anything with your bombs. It's really, really nice, but at the same time, really, really broken. Anyway... Let's get through this carefully so I don't lose my power-up, but at the same time, swiftly enough that you won't be bored. <laughs> oh! I could actually show you something here. Aha! See? Invulnerability when you get that vest. Normally that explosion would hurt me, but nope, not that time. Aha! And so, as with that laser uh, as well, would also hurt me if I didn't have this vest. So I'm... I'm oh shoot! Ah, visibility! <laughs> Too blind for my own good. <laughs> Just need to... Yeah, the camera's not moving forward enough, and that's kind of my issue there. Just tap forward and, you know, be careful with that. Unless I have the whole stage memorized, but even so, having the whole stage memorized is not a guaranteed thing, because, as I said, enemies are randomly generated in terms of where uh, they pop out from, so you don't really know exactly where they're going to be. Please don't be any spikes. <laughs> There we go. I have a feeling I'm gonna mess up my buttons eventually. Because I'm fiddling with three buttons at the same time here, and that's uh, kind of a, a thing when you're in a strategy game, I guess you could say, in terms of Twitch reaction or something like that. Yeah, I'm going to. Like that. So I can't get up there normally. And now. Haha! Alright, now I'm gonna exit. Can I get up there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Yay! Voila! Continuing on the deep dark forest, we have a tree of doom! Which is going to be pretty easy. You can see its HP at, uh, pop out whenever you hit it. See, it's only got three hits left now. And oh no, bad caterpillars. Very. Oh no, and I lost my remote. Now I lost my remote. Well, I guess it'll be. A lot more fair of a battle. Because <laughs> without the remotes, it makes it a lot harder. Alright, so you and I, no remotes, fair equal ground, even though I'm pretty dang powerful. Aha! Just be mindful of where he is and dodge accordingly. You should be okay. Just be careful of shots, so don't get too close to him. Caterpillars, not your friend. Although they do look pretty friendly, they, they are not. That is how they get you. They, they look like that they want to hug you, but no, 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 no. They will most, most certainly destroy you. And I destroyed the boss. Yay! Woo! Woo! And one up for defeating the boss. And the stage automatically ends. No door appears or anything like that. World Lair! Yeah! Alright, let's do a little bit of the second world, I suppose. This video is going to be pretty short otherwise. And I'd like to show you more stage obstacles and whatnot as well. Let's show you what else this game has to offer. I guess we are sort of maybe underwater, though it doesn't react as if you are any more underwater than you were on land. <laughs> you know, like normally when you're underwater, you have a more floaty, floaty jump. But in this game, no, not so much. Ah! Stop that. Don't do that. Bad water. Actually, maybe I should go around the other way. That might be there as a 
way to prevent me from going through there and not uh, nice. And by the way, that power-up that, um, that had, like, the bomb with the spikies around it, that's a piercing power-up which allows you to get through multiple blocks at once. Alright. Oblivion <clears throat> destroying all fish to Oblivion, waiting for waterfalls to go away. At least I think that's a waterfall. I, I guess or maybe we're not underwater, but, well... I don't know, there's a- I mean, there's there was that fish, unless the fish flow- ah! Unless there is a fish that just floats for the sake of floating, but I don't think so. Maybe Bomberman has weights in his shoes or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's my very best explanation right now. And I lost my- yeah, I lost that awesome power-up I had that just carves through. Uh, bear- ah, there it is. I very much- no, he ate it! I forgot about that. Oh, that was my own fault. Should have killed the clam first. I will avenge my power up by getting it back. Haha, I remember that though. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to kill it right away so I wouldn't lose my opportunity, I guess you could say, for that power. But uh, yeah, like the clams are, are sort of like the, the guys that decide to ruin your strategy, I suppose. As I said, this game is part strategy game, so be mindful of that. Come on, shoot water. There you go. Good boy. If, uh, water has a gender. <laughs> Voila. Oh! No! No! Must get remote! Must get remote! Aha! Ooh. And now... The world... Is in my fingertips. Well, kind of. I, that clam scares the bejeebus out of me. There we go. <laughs> I just wanted to be next to a hole uh, by the time it got over there, I guess you could say. Because I wanted to... Yeah, I, I think you know what I'm saying here. I hope. <laughs> it's a part of the strategy and whatnot. Oh, uh, ooh. Come on. Yeah, I guess I should destroy this. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that I had enough... Oh, shoot. I did get my buttons messed up. <laughs> no! Poopers. I've restarted this stage multiple times already. <sighs> Alright. Maybe not good with the remote power-up in this particular game. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just doing kind of silly mistakes because I'm a little rusty, I guess you could say. Alright, I don't need that. I've got max fire already. Maybe I'll be able to beat this stage in my mini review slash random gameplay slash demonstration video of the game. I certainly hope I will be able to. Come on now! How did you manage to dodge that? <laughs> Dang fish. Getting smarter by the minute. Uh, I'm gonna leave the remote power up behind. Just for the sake of myself confusing myself too much. Oh, I got it. I got it off screen. Okay. We are golden except for this one, but this one's mostly cornered. Oh, whoa, 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 maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, yeah, I'm definitely rushing a little bit too much as well. That's kind of a, a problem that I've been having to... Ha. Oh, no! Like, there, I, I could have avoided fishy altogether, but no, no, I just kind of... Just kind of ran into, or nearly ran into it, I should say. But no, it worked out, it's okay, everything's good. Um, oh, I gotta get inside that. Alcove like that. Well, I'll start with that. And yeah, that can block water as well. I don't mind being touched by this now, because I'm gonna have to end up going down there anyway. Right. And we have made it. Stop. Now we have made it. <laughs> Voila! And with that, I think I'm going to end off the random gameplay here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you later.